Chong and in April 5th, 200 Dawn. I, Son Hei, am ready to go to the easternmost city on the Silk Road. The difficulties I think I will face are de dehydration, starvation, frostbite, or even passing out in the hot desert. In I took along with me spices, iron, and Fergana horses. These can help me in trading since I'm a merchant. Spices are very valuable when trading. The horses can help me get across the land and they require very little water. The iron could possibly be used for tools. The way I got these valuable resources is by stealing them. Don Huang, June 1st, 200, evening. My caravan group has just hit a stopping point at an ancient cave in Dun Huang. We decided to go in and explore to see if it had any valuable resources. In the cave, we found drawings on the walls, hundreds and hundreds of manuscripts on the ground, and Hindu angels and lotus flowers on the ceiling. Nothing out of the ordinary, but definitely a cool sight to see. The manuscripts included writing that talked about things from inventions to a funeral address for a dead donkey. Others had things such as legal deeds and wills. One manuscript had things about the Silk Road homeland. The Silk Road homeland has a lot of culture, ancient artifacts, and religion. What effect I think the Silk Road had on religion is trading. Different caravans had different religions, and when they traded, they explored new beliefs. Also, I love you, Mom and Dad. I am perfectly fine and ready for the road ahead. Taklamakan Desert, June 12, 200, midday. We have just started our trek through the Taklamakan Desert, and it is very hot out. <coughs> I am trying not to pass out, so I decide to write. We already passed the skeleton of a horse that was sticking out of the ground. All of my friends in the caravan stopped to check it out. Uju, one of my good friends, said he was looking for valuable resources or possibly edible bugs. I had a bad feeling about seeing the skeleton and started to wonder if I should continue. I heard my parents in the back of my head telling me to keep on going, so I did. The land is very large and open, but also very boring. We also lost one of our caravan friends since, friends since he heard voices. He started to go, but we told him, if you go, you're alone and the sun is about to go down. After we said that, he changed his mind and continued with us through the vast land. Maraconda, September 23rd, 200, afternoon. We have just arrived at a very nice city called Maraconda. It has a towering wall surrounding their city that protects them from enemies. They have so many valuable resources and, and the perfect climate. So far, the trip has gone well, but it is very boring and tiring. I'm planning to stay for at least two days since it is so beautiful. I have one concern, and that is the long road ahead without knowing if it'll stop. Antioch, April 22nd, 201, evening. I made it. I crossed the Silk Road and lived. I had a great time and glad I did it. I have a lot of money stored up for my trades. I just made a trade here. I gave the man 50 bars of iron and 500 bolts of silk for 30 colored Roman vases and an unspecified amount of gold. The journey turned out well, but not the way I thought. I was thinking it was going to be way worse. I feel confident about the return journey since I already did it and I know what lies ahead.